everyone. Welcome to Sensible Home Studio, the place for decorating ideas for your home and celebrations. My name is Gretchen, and I'm here at the Biltmore Estate in Asheville, North Carolina, sharing my visit with family and friends and with you. The aerial view from the brochure captures its vastness. Observing safety precautions due to COVID-19, there's plenty of open space to enjoy your visit. We are on a wing and a prayer because it rained that day, but we missed it. We were inside the house the whole time it poured, and we were able to have lunch, visit the gardens and winery without being interrupted by any rain. The Biltmore is a French Renaissance chateau built by George Vanderbilt as a country retreat for his family. It was a home for entertaining. It officially opened Christmas Eve in 1895. My first visit here was during the Christmas holiday and it was absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, this impressive home is a marvel of architecture and artistry. It required six years for construction and around 1,000 workers. George Vanderbilt originally purchased 125 acres of land. The estate now sits on 8,000 acres. It's now a National Historic Landmark and remains a family business. It is an estate that comprises of Biltmore House, Gardens, Deer Park, Antler Hill Village, which has a hotel and inn, and the winery. I'll share the garden and winery in another video, so subscribe so that you can be notified. I can only imagine how it must have been to look out and take in the beauty of these mountains and pastures. It makes me think of the 23rd Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me into the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he's with me. Surprisingly, much of these 8,000 acres appear to be cleared usable space. It's no wonder Biltmore employs about 2,400 people to maintain the estate, restaurant, and hotels and shops. As you arrive at the entrance hall, the next room you see is the atrium, which is a winter garden with a domed glass roof. It gave me the feeling of being in one of my bird cages. The woodwork is so magnificent with the lanterns hanging below, I could study it for hours. But since this is a tour, we must move on. Full of soaring, architecturally designed ceilings, winding staircases, and corridors that lead to beautifully decorated and designed rooms, you must see it for yourself. I created a few collages of some of the house features, not to spoil your visit. They've allowed photos in recent years, so I was so excited to be able to have photos to remember my visit and share with you. I visit many of the Vanderbilt mansions in Newport, Rhode Island, but none of them are as magnificent as this one. dinner later that night celebrating Phyllis's birthday and the rain started again just as we were leaving. It rained overnight and early morning. We woke to a beautiful day to travel through the breathtaking views of the Blue Ridge Mountains. This trip was so enriching for all of us. I hope you enjoyed my visit with you today and have enjoyed what I've shared. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel.